Good afternoon. My presentation is devoted to immune therapy in outpatient setting. I would like to say some words about immune therapy in oncology. I was going to take uh, to make this speech from the viewpoint of clinical oncologist. This is a very extensive subject, which is important in the system of treatment of malignant lesions. I will talk about uh, immunotherapeutic point inhibitors. These medications have excellent uh, properties. The main principle or mechanism of action is that they block certain receptors, PD-L1 receptors, CD-L4 receptors, which allow the immunity and immune system of the patient to see this malignant tumor. Immune therapy is being widely used now, and there is a term such as pediloma that is potentially sensitive tumors to PDL1 PDL1 inhibitors. If previously PDL inhibitors used to be a privilege of some research centers or they were available within clinical trials, now they are widespread and they are available in the regions which obliges us to work extensively. Clinical oncologists in an outpatient setting look at application of these medications uh, from the view viewpoint of extensive work. The medications registered uh, are pembrolizumab, nivilumab, Heosinosologies and um, regimen. Atalizumab, uh, such as PDL1 inhibitors and CDL4 inhibitors, this is a pitilumab. The main principles of introduction they can be introduced in an outpatient setting. Doctor has to be present at infusion, doctor. Uh, must be aware of that, he must be skillful, and he must know uh, uh, inter interaction properties. It is dissolved in normal saline, 250 milliliters, and the time of introduction uh, inter injection is 60 minutes. The main contraindications for checkpoint inhibitors is pediatric age, uh, except from epilimumab, autoimmune uh, diseases in acute phase, pregnancy and lactation, introduction of the medication. Yes, we have introduced it. Then we have to look at possible complications. Complications may have just the opposite nature versus the situation with chemotherapy. For chemotherapy, in the main groups of medications, we, use, we, we have certain um, side effects and uh, polyneuropathy, for example, hematological toxicity, torpyrimidine, diarrhea, uh, cutaneous toxicity. Here, complications have an autoimmune nature. Besides, while predictive markers to certain medications have not been developed, so that we would wait for localization, complications can be in any organ and system, and they have an autoimmune nature. And treatment is the same as treatment of autoimmune diseases. You see a range of complications which makes us 
uh, make certain testing procedures before treatment. We look at uh, blood panels, ECG, uh, we look at T, T, G, T3, T4. Besides the center that provides the immunotherapy and the doctor who gives it has to uh, also have the uh, assistance of multidisciplinary team. So the doctor has to know some specialists who are familiar to these certain drugs and the complications caused by, by them. So sometimes oncologists cannot um, predict and prevent complications on um, their own. Once again, uh, talking about the um, outpatient uh, treatment, uh, it was uh, our case, so we administered the um, immunotherapy drug, but uh, some complications appeared and they should uh, they can happen anytime uh, in a week in a day or even in one year after the administration of the drug so before the treatment it's important to talk out all the possible types of uh, complications with the patient and also inform the patient that he has to tell the doctor about any type of complications because the sooner we learn about a complication the sooner we begin the treatment the more the less uh, prominent the these complications will be the complications um do not have this periodical character uh, that is characteristic of chemotherapy but with immunotherapy uh, after one administration, hepatitis can happen, or any type, some type of rushes, and even after the uh, uh, end of immunotherapy. Here on this slide, you can see the resource Rusko, and. Um, you see that uh, any doctor that has internet access at his hospital, he can look at um, the um, um, some indications and algorithms of action. And uh, here I showed you the categories according to the stages. Glucocorticoids are used in this case and they also support the idea of immunogeneity of all reactions. Thank you very much.